Who's that? That's my dog. dog. But who you know, I'm really shiesty. What's good, y'all? Your boy, Mr. New Schedule Guy. Your boy, Mr. Back in This Bitch Guy. Your boy, Mr. Got That Motivation God. Your boy, Mr. Twitch Streamer God. We back up in this motherfucking bitch, man. We back up in this motherfucker. Y'all niggas fuck. You do y'all niggas fuck with the shirt. Y'all niggas better fuck with the shirt. Y'all niggas, be y'all niggas better be out here supporting Justine's goddamn motherfucking clothing. That's all I'm a motherfucking say. What's good, y'all? Your boy, Mr. 2K guy. Your boy, Mr. New Mindset guy. We back up in this bitch now. Look, man, I'm excited to do this, bro. I'm, I'm excited. I don't feel like every every time that I'm gone for like I don't know two weeks, two weeks and a half, three weeks. It it literally feels like a month within that time. It feels like I have not been here <laughs> but i've i've been here but have niggas been tapping in to be here though i've been streaming on twit i got a new schedule monday wednesday friday so that means today is friday so y'all niggas know what that mean y'all niggas better be hitting the description click the twitch link and go over to the twitch and click follow and turn the notifications on over there because i'm coming tonight we are here with i sh fuck it my nigga fuck it i'm I, like this is gonna be my flex year i don't give a fuck i don't give a this is my flex year i'm flexing on all you motherfuckers snot is my guy and snot if he ever see this my nigga i'm finna expose you bruh where the fuck is my 50 dollars where is my 50 dollars bruh where is my 50 dollars my guy i'm waiting on my 50 dollars still bruh where's my money I'm just, I'm just, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. It's not don't owe me money. It's not don't owe me money. But in hindsight, that nigga do owe me money, bro. You say you was gonna put it in your notes, bro, and I never got my money. <laughs> <laughs> like, but all jokes aside, Snot is my nigga. Snot is show love to me. Snot has seen my videos. Shout out to all, hey, hey, shout out to all the artists that that that, that watch my videos on him, bro. Y'all niggas are all stars, bro. Y'all niggas are y'all like y'all niggas watch greatness. Y'all niggas that's watching the OG Mr. 2K God. If I'm a legend, bro, holy fuck, bro. I'll tell y'all if I'm feeling like it, but fuck me, bro. Fuck me. Just fuck me. Fuck. I'm excited for this. I, I love beautiful havoc. Love tragedy. Now I'm ready for Ethereal. Ethereal? E Ethereal. E the real. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I love that album cover. If this bitch don't come to vinyl, I'm gonna be a little upset. I'm gonna be a little upset if this bitch don't come to vinyl. Cause that is a vinyl cover right there. But is the music good though? Is the music good though? Track one, my world I was about to say featuring. Wait, 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 pause this. I remember when this nigga Snot literally said, what did he say? He asked a question a few years ago, I think. I actually, no, this is correct. When Tragedy at first came out, he had asked people if we liked the sound of pressure and if we wanted more songs that sounded like pressure. This shit's starting to sound like pressure and I'm finna like get up and shake some ass in a minute. Shake, a shackle, a battle of my demons. And I'm on I was just about to shake some shit. Sleep and I be dreaming until the ass is so you might vanish My bad, I don't want it to happen Niggas want my clout and status Got a Glock with a knife and a I don't want your clout and I swear to God, I love the fuck out of you, bro I'd fuck you if I, if I had the chance to I'ma take your girl, no ransom I'ma take your bitch, you random Hey, I shake I shackle, I battle all my sleep and I be dreaming. Yeah, I, I, I can't twerk to this This is, this is, this is a little deep This is deep Hey, I shake I shackle all my demons And I'm all in he knew he knew he knew he knew i was gonna be here he knew i was gonna be ready for the chopped and screw like subscribe to the twitch and dude i couldn't believe this featuring asap rocky fuck you fuck that fuck. Fucked up, bro. Niggas can't fuck with us, bro. Niggas can't swear to God. Confidence is back. Niggas is not fucking with me. 
I heard this once, but I didn't really pay attention. It's that Rocky voice. Them niggas got me fucked up too, bro. Them niggas, like, dude, holy fuck. It really is fuck you, bruh. Oh, man, I cannot play this around mommy. I can't, uh, oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, yeah. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. I'm pretty sure everyone already knows. All the men are like, I don't know what's wrong with niggas. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with niggas. But I went when that song at first came out on February the 4th, I was shocked. I was surprised. I was like, yo, Snot featuring ASAP Rocky? I mean, y'all, y'all niggas know if y'all niggas go back, you know, in, in, in the Mr. 2K God archives, the Mr. 2K God history. I at first heard Snot, I think, four years almost, damn near four years bro and back then you know i mean he was still on the come up and i feel like i feel like he's here i feel like he is here he's got 10 million monthly listeners he's been extremely consistent when coming out with music and it i don't know it's just really shocking it's still really shocking to me to see like a extremely extremely big artist like asap rocky with him already and that's really good for him bro that's really good for him. I feel like last year was his biggest year because of um, Tell Him What Kuchai's came out. That shit went viral on motherfucking TikTok. I'm not sure if a song went viral on um, Beautiful Havoc, but I am extremely proud of Snot. I love Snot. I'm gonna always love this motherfucker, bro. I'm really happy with the success that he's gotten. And I feel like this year is going to be another year of nothing but success. But other than that, bro, niggas are down bad, my nigga, bro. ASAP Rocky hasn't released anything for like four years. Rihanna hasn't released anything in like almost six years. Them niggas is over there d too busy fucking and making children rather than making music. I never seen so many niggas that never had a chance. <laughs> so many niggas that have never had a chance just came out the woodworks when we found out that motherfucker Rihanna was pregnant. Me, in my personal opinion, I ain't really give a fuck. <laughs> I ain't really get The woman never gonna meet me ever. I mean, I'm, 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 you know, if I ever see her in the streets, you know, I want to say, I, I take a little pic. I ain't going to be all crazy like these other motherfuckers talking about some, I want to, I, I, I've been the one that's wanted to been sp spit in their booty. That's going to be taken out of context. That's going to be juicy motherfuckers. Y'all niggas are down horrendously. I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be real with you. And, and it's just the type of confidence that I got. I feel like Rihanna would fuck with a nigga. Not even like that, but I bet she will fuck with a nigga. But the rest of you niggas out there, oh, she not fucking. <laughs> but the rest of you niggas out there, she not fucking with y'all. <laughs> oh, um, nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we bringing back the acoustic. We bringing back the sadness vibe. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't wanna waste your time. I don't say I don't say I don't. Little lo-fi type beat. This go hard. I think about all the times what we've been through. All the times what we've been through. Who the? Is that the motherfucker that sing Dancing Monkey? This like the t like the talent, bro. See, like we don't we don't only gotta get hard shit from this nigga, bro. We don't only gotta get like this nigga been doing this for years, bro. He been doing this for years, bro. And I kn I knew we were gonna flip the switch. I knew we were gonna flip the switch. Holy shit, this nigga horny is a bitch. That was a reference. This nigga is referencing bodies hit the floor. Fuck nigga built like a bitch hit a skittle. 
Yo, my nigga, she, he, my nigga just said some of y'all niggas built like bitches and built like a Skittle. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Turn this shit up. It's already up all the way. Oh, dude. Yo, I'm enjoying the fuck out of this album right now. I'm only on track five. Type of beat that came through on that song, I'm a I am a little disappointed with that song just mainly because I as like when I first heard it come on I was like yo like I didn't I wasn't really expecting the rhyme scheme that he used on 5 a.m. I assumed that he was gonna use the same rhyme scheme that he went hard with on Go. So that's just like the only tiny small thing that I was a little disappointed with on that song. Um, like I, like I said, man, um, Snot, I'm gonna be honest, Snot's, Snot's been one of my favorite artists for the past few years, for the past two years, in my personal opinion, and when Tragedy came out, I think that was probably one of my most played albums of the year of 2020, matter of fact, and I was cool with Beautiful Habit, but I, I, I don't know why I still feel like an extreme connection with tragedy. It's actually kind of crazy that it's almost been, well, I mean, you know, in, in like, you know, technical sense, it's been, it hasn't been two years, but in a sense, it's been two years since that album has came out and at like, you know, you gotta let time do its work. You gotta let time, you know, help me things mesh. And like I said, right now, I'm really enjoying the album, but man, tragedy is on my mind, bro. I really, really, really love that album. But like I said, I'm not gonna compare. Like, it's like I said, I'm really pleased. I'm, I'm, I'm so far pleased with what this album has has gave us, man. Um, I love Blue Moon. Love the Teddy Jones feature. Love how hard he went in Ghost. And it's like I, Doja came out about a week ago so you know i've already been with that song i love how he started off the album matter of fact but i'm waiting i'm waiting for this i want this to say hopefully by the end i'll be like yo this has some potential to pass tragedy for me for me but for right now you know it's slowly climbing this way up track six alone featuring trippy red this nigga pulled out the features on this motherfucker bro trippy asap rock kevin abstract juicy j joey badass these features go hard. Dude, if Trippy says another Liu Kang bar, I'ma slap this nigga in his throat. Is Liu Kang the only Mortal Kombat character that Trippy knows? I'm, dude. I just don't, I just don't want, I just don't want no more Liu Kang bars, that's it. Yo, real live, real talk. I, in my personal opinion, I enjoy Trip at Night. I really like the concept of the album. We obviously heard a lot of people say, oh yeah, a lot of the songs sound the same, a lot of the songs sound the same. Um, I'm, I, I personally feel like, like, Trippy knew what he was doing when he was doing that album. I'm pretty sure that he wanted the album to be like that. But, man, I never really asked people, like, how they felt about Trip at Night. That's why I really don't like doing first reactions sometimes. Like, I enjoy doing them, obviously, because I like showing my first reaction. But, it's like, damn, you know, I do my first reaction, and then it's like, after that... You know, as time goes on, I never hear if people in like really, really enjoy that album or if it really, really grew on them. So it's like almost damn near a year later. I, I can't really remember when Trip at Night first came out. But how did y'all feel? How did y'all feel about Trip at Night? At the end of that album, I ended up giving it like a six and a half, which is not that bad. It's up from compared to his other albums. But how did y'all fucking feel about it? I don't really hear a lot of people still talking about it much, but. I I enjoyed that album a lot. Sorry that like you know this is a snot video, but Trippy Ray is also motherfucking here. That that is my guy. I still have some detective work to do because I still think that Trippy Ray does not like me. So we need to get to the bottom of that this year. I need Trippy Ray to hit my line, bro. Track seven, Benzo.
that this that this that ass shaking base that is exactly what this is bro but am i throwing back ass tonight absolutely not we on christian shit shaniqua oh don't do that 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 don't do do not do that what set are we talking about the only set we're talking about is the niggas up at mcdonald's Why does it gotta be Shaniqua? Why, why, why can't it be like, I don't know. Why can't it be Jessica or, or, or Caitlyn or uh, what the fuck am I talking about? Shaniqua? What is going on? What, what is going on? What the fuck is going on? That, yeah, what? I don't think I ever, was this a single? Was this a single? Oh my God. Oh my. No, it was with slow, it was with slow tie. Ooh. That's the song I'm thinking about, but not this one. This, this is. This shit. Yo, yo, yo. This sound like a cooch heist type beat. Did he just say we the bang bros? That motherfucker be back there moving. That shit be back there clapping. Yo, I personally, like my nigga, I think we need a chopped and screwed snot album. I feel like that wouldn't be that bad. We need a chop. We need a freshly new chopped and screwed snot album. Hey, hey, hey! I got the cro I got the cro I got the Crocs on right now. I got the Crocs on right now. I got the I got them on right now. I'm a I'm a little bit I'm a flexible nigga a little bit a little bit. Yo, I'm not gonna cap. The only feature that personally missed for me is Trippy, but all these other niggas is going off right now. What? I'm. Yeah, I'm so lonely because what is life if I don't wanna live? Can you grab a black and shoot me in the head real quick? My enemies, they laughing at me like, what the fuck, kid? I ain't talking about this black because my soul in the sky is shit. It's too late to come down, I'll fucking regret this shit. I'm so selfish, I can't even get that bitch my dick. Because what is life if you die? This the type of beat that make me just want to slap a mosquito and then laugh at that bitch at the end when I kill him.
like, why halfway through this song, I'm like, bro, a little bit, this is like a Luigi's Mansion type beat, I kind of want to suck some ghost stuff right now. Wow, like, high key, I am excited for every single song that comes on. Ooh, this guy, this got potential. This this album has potential in my opinion. It has potential. But if this ain't if they if this ain't chop if this ain't chop screw at the end if this ain't chop and screw at the end we gonna have some problems. Did the beat just change? Oh, no chop. Oh. Bro, bro, bro. What I'm thinking about right now, bro, I need, I, what I'm about to say, I need this from Snot, whenever he comes out with, with his next album, I need this. Bro, 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 first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, I miss her. I'm 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 pleased with this album. I'm pleased with this album. I I I, re I honestly have a rating in my head already. I think off the first listen, I think this is a solid six out of ten. And I hope niggas aren't mad at because I feel like there are a few bars from Snot that do need to improve. Like I I don't know. I, I guess it's me and listening to rappers is always talking about fucking bitches and shit like that and uh, nothing in a bitch eye or something like that. But I feel like a six out of ten is a pretty good rating, bro. I feel like it because I thought it was an all right, pretty dope album. Because I really love the production that he brought in. I really thought the the features, dude. I'm really pleased with the features. Other than Trippy Red a little bit, I really enjoyed the features. But the one thing that I really do love about Snod is that he like he knows how to show his talent he knows that he's just he's not just this guy that can just rap in, in my personal opinion i think the man can sing a little bit bro the vocals that he was bringing out in blue moon for a nigga that got a deep ass voice like him his vocals are pretty fucking good bro i feel like one thing that i really want snot to do bro there's two types of albums that i want this man to really do I really want a chopped and screwed type of album. Maybe he can go back and maybe like chop and screw some of his old, like the other two albums, maybe potentially, or chop and screw some throwaways. I don't know. In the second one, because I truly believe that he can do this. I truly believe down in my heart that this man can make some kind of concept album. Because right now in his albums, we get like a little mix of like, we get a nice good mix of things. We get the hard shit, we get the emotional shit, we get the slow shit. We get all kind of shit when it comes to Snot, man. And that's why I feel like he just never disappoints because we always get like a good mix back from. But I, I, oh man, I, I, I can just really, really see this man doing some type of concept album where he just sticks to one thing in the entire album that has a lot of meaning so those are two things that i'm looking forward to like i hope like that's that's just me giving some 
like something that I'd, I'd want to see because I really feel like he can do it and he's at that talent level where he can do that. I feel like this nigga can do anything in terms of music, bro. Um, my favorite song, I, I, dude, that song was hard. I feel like when you got a song with Kevin Abstract, like I, I don't think you can miss when you have him on a track with you. So I, I'm really pleased with this album. Um, New schedule, like I said, bro, like please, please, please follow up on my Twitch. I'm dead ass serious. I'm serious about this shit monday wednesdays fridays i'm gonna try my best to get on like at around 9 p.m ish 10 p.m ish and i'm gonna stream three hours on every single one of them streams just a little trial run my uploads will also be on mondays wednesdays and fridays so i really hope y'all niggas come through because you know I i've never been this motivated before ever in my life well you know the motivation is coming back i'm not gonna say ever in my life because we gotta experience all this shit first but i'm very excited it's like i've been saying for the past few fucking weeks y'all niggas better go to justine's dms and y'all niggas better say y'all niggas better say thank you bro because without her i wouldn't be this insp inspired i wouldn't be this motivated bro because it's like i said you know when, when you got someone positive that that's that's in your life when you got someone that you know is just you see that's working hard or they grind it just make you want to work hard too and so like I said, she's been really inspiring me. And she's been making me want to get back up and motherfucking work. And I, like, it's like I always say, y'all niggas don't understand how much I appreciate appreciate that motherfucker right there. So, hey, say thank you, like, bro. Holy shit, like I, I'm excited. Like that motherfucker making me want to get on a schedule and shit. Motherfucker making me want to turn my ways around. I don't know what the fuck going on, but shout out to Snot. I love this album. I really enjoy it listening to for the first time it's coming back listening to for the first time is coming back i'm not sure um either um death grips or yeet will be my um artist that i will be doing for the return of it um gonna ds4 that 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 is still coming as well so hey get excited it's like i said i'm pushing my twitch bro i'm pushing it bro please come through support I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be streaming on monday wednesdays and fridays and you know today is friday so i hope some of y'all can show up tonight so hey i'm gonna edit this video go grab me something to eat hope y'all i hope y'all niggas have been good hope y'all niggas been out there been being safe and shit and yeah um this be a boy mr 2k god and i'm out this bitch